North Carolina moved to 2-0, beating Boston College by a score of 26-22 as the Tar Heels were able to squeak out an uninspiring win. After three weeks off, my biggest takeaway from the game is that it looked like a team that hadn't played in three weeks and has some areas of concern to address. Offensively, Carolina's passing game is nowhere near where it needs to be or even where it was last year. I think a big part of that is that these receivers are struggling mightily to create separation leading to tighter windows. That's causing Sam Howell to hold onto the ball for far too long or causing Howell to force something to make a bad play worse. Carolina got bailed out twice in those scenarios where Javante Williams was able to recover a fumble and later a pass interference was called into a throw into double coverage. I can understand the frustration that comes with not being able to move the ball downfield, but ball security is the name of the game and Howell has to be better in that regard. Following a game where you only get into the red zone twice and score just five points after halftime, adjustments will have to be made. A good place to start would be more carries for Michael Carter and Javante Williams, who averaged 6.6 yards per rush against Boston College. Defensively, Carolina played a much better game. It still amazes me to watch Chaz Surratt out there. That play early in the first half where he got cut and still got to the quarterback in time for the sack was amazing. The other player that I'll mention for a strong performance on that side of the ball is Trey Morrison. He had a couple of timely pass breakups with jarring hits inside the red zone and then on the biggest play of the game picked off the two point conversion and returned it all the way. You have to love a player that steps up when his team needs him the most. However, UNC did still have some coverage breakdowns in the back end that Boston College couldn't capitalize on. Better teams will be able to take advantage of that. I think it's fair to be harsher on this team because expectations are that much higher. The team that played yesterday wasn't anywhere near a top 10 team. Maybe Boston College winds up being better than people might have expected, but if Carolina is going to take that next step as a program and seriously contend in the ACC, it has to put together better performances starting next week against Virginia Tech.